Hello. Been a while. Uh, I've been playing other video games, and I just moved and wanted to see how the internet here performs. Uh, so today I'm going to be trying some permadeath. Hollow Knight is A. This is a really fun game. Uh, and B, I am a glutton for punishment, I guess. <laughs> Good. Good. Hmm. So, this game, uh, seems very Souls-inspired. Uh, it's, it's, uh, first and foremost a Metroidvania. Uh, platformy, backtracky, get power-ups, do the thing. Uh, but also has, like, this cryptic lore around it that seems very much uh, Dark Souls-inspired. And I love it. Like... I think it's amazing. It's, it, they did a very good job. Hmm. Uh, just with the whole aesthetic of it. Souls-like has, has become quite popular, and the only thing that makes this game Souls-like is the fact that when you die, you can go recollect your corpse. Um, that's, that's really the only thing about this game that is Souls-like, otherwise it's much more Symphony of the Night. Uh, esque. because, like, this is really all you can do combat-wise. You jump and you swing. Swing up and you can swing down, and then you'll pick up upgrades that increase your mobility. Really, it's just... Go. Oh, right. The Estus mechanic. Got this cool little mana bar. Use it to heal. To hit things to get it back. Anyways, so... I have put a lot of time into this game. Uh, about 30 hours at this point. Um... Getting a 100% a save file. Just because I think the game's real fun. But this is, well, as the title says, permadeath. Because uh, once you beat the game once, you unlock permadeath mode. So many, so many things I've gotten used to just having. Because... One thing that souls likes need, it's permadeath. Stand Come on. Burp, 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 burp. So slow. Hello, old man.
Alright. That sounds sad. Let's sit at the park bench and uh, be on our way. Oh. Into the depths. to actually pick up my money because I don't have the magnet upgrade. Don't have wall jump. Dash. How many basic like I mean maybe not basic, but just like so many movement options take for granted. Like a, a wall climb. Ah, uh, the map man. We'll buy that map. Boy, that's helpful. Lady corn, later corny. Well, I do like that. Unless you are wearing the proper gear, uh, you have to uh, infer where you are on the map from actual, you know, landmarks, like you would a real map. Don't need to rest the hot spring, don't need to sit on the bench. The bench isn't going to do me much good. In permadeath. Destructible environment. Ah. This. <laughs> oh boy. I think this is the right way. I remember right. Stag station. Bing bing. It's our good friend the stag beetle. Fast travel. Right, I, well, I need to fight this guy for later, yeah.
somebody's upset. So, first boss, found to be easy. Go, oh, City Crest. Rip that guy. All this loot. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that guy. Oh wait, no, I need the I need the double jump. Later on, uh, when when you're able to access a secret area of that room, you find two more of those little maggots like around the body of their friend. And you show up and they run screaming. Like, okay, no, I understand, but you guys still make super annoying noises. And I would like you to stop. Hello, mysterious dark man. The snail shaman. I actually need this spell? I mean, am I, well... Yes, I do need the spell. Completely forgot about- oh, passed out. Consume the vengeful spirit! You can now do something besides heal with your mana. Also, he locked you in a cave. If I were to talk to him, he'd be like, So there's, there's, there's something in this cave I need you to kill. And you can test out this cool new magic you got. It's a little annoying, though, that the magic button, uh, if you press it, you shoot magic, and if you hold it, you heal. Messing those up at the wrong time can be uh, potentially problematic. this guy. Whenever I get close to him, he clams up and he can't do anything, so I've got to... Ah, oh, yes. My first equipment. creature. Thanks, shaman man. For trapping me in a cave. Put that charm. Get more magic when I hit things.
All right. Let's head back out. The map store. <sighs> Bye for nada. One one dollar short buying both of them. That's unfortunate. Aha! Money pinatas. that thing please thank you flip it and move on now I can actually see myself on the map Go this way now. Welcome to Green Path. Home of exploding corpses. Up in the acid. Some birds for no reason. Huge. Hello. Good.
mosquitoes. This song sounds a little like Luigi's Mansion. Spikes are an instant death. Take one HP. Rise for completing the hunt log, which is lame. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, bye. Guess I'll follow that lady. Oh. He fly flytrap out of nowhere. by a completely stationary object. That's a good omen. I have to fight Hornet here. Sniper shot. Standing right in the way of it. And benches aren't going to do me much good. serve as full heal spots. In there. Not yet, at least. Ah, health. Wait, oh, I have to fight you. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Of course, he's got aerial counters. Pogo is a very strong meta sometimes in this game. Of course, all the monsters that you want to use it on have ways to fight it. Zoat. Sweet, precious Zoat. There's an achievement for leaving him to die. And I don't know if I like actually get anything for saving him. Other than like to fulfill his quest line or his storyline. There's another opportunity to leave him to die though. Later. Nerd. Oh, shoot. I'm just leaving. I'm, I'm just leaving. I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna try and deal with that. Oop. The stag way down here. Look at the map. <laughs> oh man, so Yeah, this this definitely isn't my first playthrough. You have to beat the game once to unlock permadeath, but yeah, no, I'm I'm not. I don't like Zote. <laughs> Guy's not great. But I saved him the first time because I'm like, you know, he's gonna, I'm gonna see where his quest line goes, and then turns out he's just a douche. Oh. oh, okay. I mean, not so much stalking as blatantly following. But what would I try? What? Okay. All right. Cool. Bosses in this game are very vocal. Okay. Oh no. Give me some time to heal, Hornet, please. I really wish that I got a cool needle like hers. But unfortunately, mine's just like a little Twizzler. Up. Bye. Oh. 
switch it for a red vine. <laughs> Alright, we get our first movement ability. Oh. Gee, I wonder who these guys are. Oh. Definitely not the big three bosses that I have to fight to access the actual final boss. You know, like a, a, a Dark Souls game would do. Yep, yeah, that's my weapon. An old nail. Anyways, now that I have dashing, uh, things go much faster. Go over here. This is the lake. Lake of Um. Did it for the money. Ah, Quirrell. I think I have to follow this guy's quest line. I don't think I have a choice not to follow this guy's quest line. Mm-hmm. Right, I need to charge there. That whole segment. down something I'm actually getting get into this area.
how to Pogo 101. little worm friend. Oh. Wait. No. I need the wall jump. Oh, this is awkward. Now I gotta trundle my way all the way back up. Wasted time. Oh, I'm falling the acid. Wasted time. Get this thing. Do I actually? No, I don't. I can just leave. Need fog. I don't need to come here. Yet. Heck, I can't even get the map for this place until way later. I know. Idea, bad idea. Bad idea. All right, let's not go to Fog Canyon yet. to find my way to the mushroom zone. This is not the way to the mushroom zone. In fact, I can't even do anything there yet. Oh, excuse me, creepy statue friend. I'm going to see myself out. Well, you'd think after playing this game for like 30 hours, I would know the basic layout of the map. Where am I? Okay. Right, where I first saw Hornet. Here we go. 
Now we're on the right track, I hope, I think. There's a high probability that we're on the right track. Oh, come on, dude. Ah. I didn't just like break anything. I honestly don't even remember what's up here. Or if that was even a sequence break. Oh wait, no, I'm just back here. Heck. Okay. Uh, okay. A way to get to the fungus area from Green Path. Wasn't even break at all. In hindsight, uh, this is not a great accessory for a permadeath run. Because ideally, I want to be taking no damage. So that I don't need to deal damage whenever I take damage. Okay, now I'm just confused. Let's head to the Stagway. Take the train out of here. Buddy. Hello, Snow. Let's head this way. Riding on the train bug. Train bug. Stag beetle? Not a stag beetle, though. Oh well. Go down. Nope, not this way. I am aiming for Chivos. Um, currently, it's just beat the game on permadeath mode. 
That's that's the Chivo right now, and if I feel like an absolute masochist, I'll uh, try and do the 100% on permadeath uh, playthrough. What's down here? Oh, right, the shopkeep is down here. Let me just kill this innocent bug. No reason, really. Broodlings. That's just the kind of person I am. The NPCs in this game are also very vocal. Hey, Salubra. How are you? Yep, I just I just want to buy an accessory. Please don't make those noises at me ever again. Actually, you don't even have any accessories I want. Why'd I come down here? Stop keep. these NPCs who are just like in the middle of succumbing to madness and you just walk up to them and they're like oh hey I'm fine now <laughs> it's like I oh oh all right sure cool glad you just needed somebody to talk to so that you wouldn't go crazy it's fine yep Everything is fine. Uh, don't need the tram. Can't use the tram, actually. What's this way? Oh, right. Can't get that yet, because I need the double jump. I mean, maybe. Maybe seeing, seeing this little friend helps people, like, come snap back to their senses. I mean, look, look how cute this little guy is. <laughs> Jungle reaches are... I need a flashlight. <laughs> Look how cute this little guy is when he, you know, casts his spell, Vengeful Spirit. That launches a beam of pure soul energy and obliterates anything in front of it. Adorable. Oh, jeez. Uh... Feeds off the souls of these already lost to madness people. Here we go. I can come back here when I have uh, double jump. But until then, you know, you know, <laughs> I 
When I'm playing on permadeath mode, you'd think I'd be a little more careful about watching my life total. Not letting it get to one. But you know, caution is for the... the weak. Oh. Right. The Coliseum of Fools. You can have fun there, Tiso. Hey, Elderman. The shopkeep came home. He charges too much for his stuff. Key, I'm in this lantern. Oh, we need more money. 1800. 1800! Anything from the map store that I need? Oh, that's just marks on the map that tell me where things are. Right, and I have to ride the stag back to Dirt Mouth in order to open up the Dirt Mouth stag station. Great. Mm-hmm. I'm good at video games. Wall jump. Right. To have the ability to swim in acid, this room becomes a pathway. Shortcut. But the ability to swim in acid doesn't come until, like, the end of the game. Here we are. Here's the fungal depths. Welcome to the shroom zone. Fungal waste. This guy looks friendly. Leg eater. Pay him to see his inventory and then pay him for his inventory. Six. Oh. Need that. That because I don't die. Just really, it's it's nothing but good. All of his charms. All of his charms are if you die, they break. 
you don't die. They're just good. World Eater. I mean, yes, a World Eater is better than a Leg Eater. Hey, Shroom Fella. Looks a little Smeagol-ish. Ooh, a notch. I can go make Minecraft. Oh, uh, that that wasn't even a joke. That was bad. These guys. After that. Ooh. There. Get to go experience the first thing that I'm pretty sure I'll die to. Right, exploding corpses, that's a thing. That happened. Ah. I'm good at video games. Ah. Garbage, garbage, garbage. What's this? Right, this is worthless is what this is. There's nothing in there. Like actual nothing. This leads you up here. Which I get I so you don't have to hit that one particular switch, I guess. Bye mushroom man. Get to live on this day. cloth. <laughs> the NPCs in this game are just kind of charming most of the time. Unless it's freaking... So the mighty. That guy's just old. Dangus. Oh, 
you know, Hornet, I'm gonna let you go that way. I've got things to explore this way. Mantises. This is the part where I think I die. Mantises are no fun. And I know benches don't do anything for me. I'm gonna sleep on this one anyways. She's okay. This. The Dash Master. Also, that pin looks a little bit like Sans Undertale. in there again. Maybe it's from Mantis Village. Ashmaster does just what it says on the tin. There's usually a very brief cooldown on your dash, uh, and it also lets you dash downwards for whatever that's worth. Also, hello, Sir Meta. How's it going? Hey, Mantis friend. I don't want. I don't want any. I don't want any. Gone. Gone. Oh. Later. Right, I don't like the mantis lords yet. Mantis claw, wall jump. And now the game has changed. It's amazing how much just a wall jump <laughs> changes the speed at which everything happens. Go fight the Mantis Lords, but they might kill me. Or I could just 
it good. And head into the deep nest. No, I need I need the lantern before I can head into the deep nest. Have to get the, uh oh, looks like I'm fighting the mantis lords. If I can get there. What's this way? Right. <sighs> gotta, gotta beat the Mantis Lords so that I prove myself worthy to the Mantis Tribe so that they stop attacking me on sight. Which then makes it really awkward when you need to fill out the hunting log and you haven't killed enough mantises. And so they like bow courteously to you when you enter the room, kill them, and then no, none of the other mantises have any problem with that. Like, I, mm, I think you should have a little bit more of a problem with me just like walking in and killing a dude. Or... Or... Okay. Boss fight. I challenge you. Kill the harpsichord. It would help if I remembered their move set. Jump. Okay, all right, come on, bring it on, two at once. I can deal with this. I'm good at video games. Okay, okay, all right, guys. <laughs> oh, sure, that's a hitbox. Bad idea. Jump! Oh, come on. I just want to jump. I just want to jump after I heal.
Oh. They're still gonna be doing the moveset as if there were two of them. Okay. Yeah, what now? They did it. Is that it? Piano trail? Anything else? No? Alright. Thanks for that. And the deep nest. Warning if you spiders. If if spiders, then warning. Uh, so I'm not gonna go there yet. Because I also need a lantern. Because it's dark. And spiders. Right side. The mantises won't attack me. Hey, they don't even have hurt boxes anymore. Good. Alright, now I... this way. Now I need to go follow Hornet where she went. And this is where uh, you can definitely tell that the creators played Meat Boy. You know, Super Meat Boy. Yeah, that one. Cause I mean, just look, just look, look at this ridiculous platforming. It gets worse in like a secret area of the. I mean, not worse, but there's there's buzz saws in another secret area of the game. And it's like, oh, okay, I get it now. place is super fun and it's like okay so now we are just actually playing meat boy oh those things bell flies i think those are called Later. Oh, hey, buddy. Hey, Quirrell, what's up? Don't mind me, just chilling on a bench with my bro. This game is, is nice. Like, they did a very good job at, at environments, environmental design.
I think I can upgrade my weapon. I have enough money to do that. Even though I need eighteen hundred dollars by the stupid lantern. Four hundred for the first upgrade. Hmm, Dendasu. Ah, Ranjo Stenja. Oh, only two hundred fifty. Nice. Strengthen my nail, my dude. Garadel Akari. Now, instead of a broken nail, it is a sharp nail. shot those bugs now. This strangely non-lethal water. That Bible thump looking fountain over there. Waterways. I don't need to go there yet. Okay, thanks for the cryptic words, Hornet. Memorial to the Hollow Knight. Through its sacrifice, Hollow Knight passed. Yes, that means it's time to grind money. Terrible as that is. Oh, right.
Which those eggs are also going to be useless in this playthrough because they are for retrieving your souls without having to actually go retrieve your souls. But because permadeath. can't leave souls behind if you only die once. Or if you never die. Man pointing to head meme. <laughs> like your memes how you like your sucre good 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 yeah no that, that did fall a little flat oh that still goes up oh well, that's awkward Bushes, really? Liquid. That was it. Weak. Pay money for a bench. Okay, yep, I'm video games, I'm video games, yes. Oh, hey, I don't need to get in there. And it's a goist. Issuing a spoop warning. There's ghosts in the next area. And creepy organ music.
these fun little slime boys uh, named Mistake and Folly. Yep, no, this is a perfectly normal place with perfectly normal things happening. No weird experimentation of any kind. Every time, but that's these are attacking. I wish that sword clash did more. I mean, it gives you a bit of, like, invuln frames, but... That if you manage to swing your sword at the exact right time to hit the swing of their sword, then you get some invuln frames. Hmm. All right, boss time. Look at all this free magic. Hey, look at that, friend. So most bosses in this game have a, a hard mode encounter, and I spent so long fighting the hard mode of this guy that I'm kind of disappointed at how the fight actually is. And again, most of the hard modes just boil down to they attack faster, they have more health, they do more damage. And sometimes their patterns are different. I think I won. Yeah! Soul item get! Oh wait, never mind. I think he's upset.
And now I think I won. Yeah, that piano trail means I won. The desolate dive. You know, sometimes I think this game did really well on the sound design. Sometimes I think they did too well on the sound design. All that, like, squirming and gurgling. Just a little much. Just a little much. fella. I played Mega Man X. I can do like little one pixel cliff jumps. Dirtmouth. I get probably the coolest upgrade next. Charge Dash. Also, it's very annoying that they cover the top of all the elevators with spikes. Like that. Soul Sanctum. And there's the patented Bethesda Quick Way Out. Bench. I believe. Stag Station up here. Two hundred. Dear Juro, 
Head back to dirt mouth. No, it seems kind of um, odd that people built all these buildings with switches on the inside. I mean, okay, security, I guess. But then when you get locked out of your, your house and you have to go through this ridiculous jumping puzzle to get to the inside to open the switch. And then anybody can just go through this ridiculous jumping puzzle to get to the switch inside your house. Doesn't seem very secure now. Rescue another worm. Grub. They're grubs. They're not worms. Much cuter than worms. Oh, right. She has a few lines of dialogue before you come here when you actually need to. And it's sad. And she's gone. She's, she's crazy. She's lost her mind. Um, to the infection. Um, what do you get? Company store a lantern to get in here. Now the first time I played through this game, I kind of stumbled onto the end of this this section. Very little idea what I'm actually doing here. Unless I want to keep trial and error my way through this thing. Rude. Yeah, I'm not gonna...
Uh, bench. Here we go. I think that's where I need to get through. <laughs> oh dear. Uh-oh. That was close. It sets me back at the start from falling into the spikes there. Yeah, I'm gonna need to go get that lantern. Not in the business of risk taking right now. Of course I don't have the map. Why would I have the map? Hold up. Can I get out of here? No, this game wouldn't let me soft lock. Or not. Get up and out the top, I need to double jump. Get out that way, I needed lantern.
Uh oh. Stupid bug. And then of course when I sit at the bonfire, or at the bench, all the enemies respawn. Good. Leaving. I freaking hate that bug. gonna give this a couple more goes. If I can't get it, then that'll be it. bug in there. Heard it flapping. Soul burst doesn't seem very effective. Get out of the air. I can't. <laughs> oh. Oh. 
One step too many. Okay, don't need to dash there. What was that? Completely ignoring all the muscle memory that I built up to that point. That, that was. That's how I get here. Okay, yes, now I know where I am. Or on Monomon the teacher, Luria and the watch, or uh, the beast. Like, get out of here. We don't want you here. Now I'm in dream world. Okay, this makes a bit more sense now that I've done the secret ending. The dream nail. Now I could do hard mode bosses, but I'm not gonna. Even though there's some loot that I can get from doing the hard mode bosses. Hey, lady. Was that you that was talking to me there and not the radiance? And then to get all of the Chivos point towards 100% completion, I need 2400 essence. Which will very rarely drop off of dudes, but you get a bunch from doing boss fights like this. And also, the hard mode bosses will give you a bunch of essence. Hero. Sure. 
sure. Let's fight. This was a bad idea, actually. Hitbox for like half a second or something. You know, this dude's got four nails, but only using at least two of them at a time seems inefficient. I mean, I guess it has to be fair. essence. Uh, I believe I also... find a bench. Bagway. There. Cool, I'm gonna head back up to Dirtmouth and then save and quit. I'm actually surprised at the progress I made. But I guess knowing having played through the game once already gives you a bit of a oh no done. Makes it easier the second and subsequent times. Cool. Alrighty. Well, looks like uh, I can stream at the same bit rate that I was before. Um, and it looked like... Nothing, I mean, pretty standard stream, uh, quality-wise. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. That's gonna be it for me for today. I think I'm actually going to try and get back on a normal schedule for streaming. Um, don't know if it'll be the same one it was, but we'll just say that. Yeah, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Saturdays, in the afternoon-ish. Um, I'm going to keep playing this for the time being. But yeah. Let me just... Uh, this button. Boy. Cool. Alright, well, thank you very much for watching, uh, and I'll see you later.